If you're a fan of mixed martial arts, also known as MMA, then you know that the Ultimate Fighting Championship, the UFC, is the biggest and baddest organization in the business. Founded in 1993, the UFC has been through a lot of changes over the years, but one thing has remained constant. It's always been a place for the best mixed martial artists in the world to test their skills against one another. Today, the UFC is home to the biggest names in MMA. With its popularity on the rise, so too are the number of stats and analytics available for fans to consume. Soon. In this video, we'll show you how to scrape UFC stats from the web so that you can nerd out like never before. To begin scraping UFC data, you'll need to download and register your free account with Parsa. The link is in the description below. Let's begin scraping UFCstats.com, the official stats website for the UFC, making your first selection. Firstly, begin by logging into Parsa and click the new project button. Enter this URL to scrape from the official UFC stats website and click the start project on this URL button. Click the first complete event and it should turn green. Click the next event and then all the events on the front page should be extracted. Rename the selection to event on the left pane. You have now correctly extracted your first data point. Extracting relative data. Begin by clicking the plus button next to the event selection and choose relative select. Click the first event and an arrow should appear. Click the date under the event to extract it. Now all the relative dates will be extracted. Rename this to date. Do the same three steps and this time point the arrow to the location. You might need to click the next event and location to train the algorithm. Rename the selection on the left to location. Extracting fighters and stats. To get additional information such as the fighters in each event and their stats, we need to go into each UFC event and grab additional information. Begin by clicking the plus button next to the event selection we made earlier. Choose the click option. On the pop-up asking if this is a next page button, choose no as we're not going to do the pagination yet. Yet. Create a new template called Event Details and the event page will now load. Click the first fighter to extract their name and click the next two fighters to extract all the fighters. Rename the selection to Fighter on the left. Click the plus button next to the fighter selection and choose Relative Select. Click the first fighter and the number of strikes they made in the fight. Redo this for the next two fighters to train the algorithm and rename this selection to Strikes. Redo this Relative Selection and click the first fighter and then the method method of winning. Do this for the next winner and rename this selection to win method. Awesome job! You have now extracted multiple data points and you can repeat these steps for other stats such as the weight class, the number of rounds, and much more. Scraping subsequent pages. In our other tutorials we talked about pagination. With this website there's no next page button which means you have to use a more complex method to paginate through the pages. Start by clicking the plus button next to your page selection. Choose select and click the first page number button. Expand the selection and delete the two extractions. They are not needed. Rename the selection to current page. Click the plus button next to your current page selection and choose relative select. Click the first page button and then point the arrow and click on number two which is the next page. Rename the selection to the next page and delete the extractions. Click the plus symbol next to the next page extraction and choose click. Choose yes on the pop-up as this is a next page button. Enter the amount of additional pages you want to scrape. We will choose two which means three pages in total. The next page will now load. Make sure that the current page selection is now on page 2. You will notice the next page relative selection is also on 2 which is incorrect. You will need to click the number 2 and correctly point it to number 3. Click the browse button again and go to page 3 and make sure everything is correct. That was a lot of steps compared to websites that have a next page button. So if you run into any problems, make sure you contact your support for more help. Starting the UFC straight. Now that you have made your first selection, relative selections, and entered into each event and have set up pagination, it is time to start your scrape. Click the green get data button on the left pane. You may now choose to test, run, or schedule your scrape. Testing is a good option to check if everything is working. In our case, we'll run the scrape once to get three pages of results. If you followed this tutorial correctly, your data should look like this. We hope you enjoyed this video and tutorial on scraping UFC events, fighters, and fight stats. Make sure to like and subscribe for more web scraping tips. If you have any questions about web scraping, data extraction or need help with using Parsub, feel free to contact us on our website. Happy scraping!